Hey guys, welcome to another BlameTheNetwork.com video tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering NetFlow exporting to an analyzer. Um, NetFlow is Cisco's uh, particular flavor of flow technology and, and what you can do with flows is you can export and um, you can read metrics on what uh, protocols and services as well as what hosts are using the most bandwidth on your network. Uh, so it's useful for monitoring on a circuit or a trunk uh, to ensure that you're not oversaturating that or um, you can even uh, maintain metrics over time to see the, uh, the growth and, and kind of do some future planning for your uh, network. Um, so to jump right into it today what we're using is GNS3 uh, alongside the SolarWinds NetFlow Analyzer. This is the demo version allows you to capture for I believe up to an hour and uh, you can only use I believe one interface at a time. So they do have a commercial equivalent. Uh, there's also other free and open source software out there to do this and there's other commercial alternatives as well. I'm looking to do a uh, free and open source side-by-side uh, -side comparison of NetFlow analyzers in the coming days. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into setting this up. It's a pretty simple topology here. We have a cloud that ties us into uh, the workstation that this um, this GNS3 is running on. And then we have R3, just a generic router for doing the flow export. All right, so I lost the recording software there for a second, but uh, that's not out of the ordinary. So uh, what we're gonna do is jump into router three. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down so you can see it a little better. Um, there are three basic steps that we need to do in order to set this up. Uh, step one is going to be enable the IP flow ingress and IP flow egress to watch in and out on the interface that we want to monitor NetFlow on. Uh, step two is going to be S SNMP group and user. You need to do the group first because user you need to specify what group you're going to put it in. Uh, step three, if I just said step three, I'm at step two. Step three is going to be uh, to set up the IP flow export command. Uh, so getting into it, we're going to jump into F00, which is our simulated ISP WAN connection here. We're going to do IP flow ingress, IP flow egress. And that's all you need to do on the particular interfaces that you want to monitor. You can do the same thing on virtual interfaces like uh, Layer 3 VLAN SVIs or um, sub-interfaces, tunnels, etc. Uh, we're going to dump back out into config T mode, set up an SNMP group, uh, SNMP server group. Let's give it a name of uh, SNMP group pretty original uh, we're going to do version 3 three different types of uh, security levels on the the v3 SNMP uh, you've got uh, you've got privacy uh, no auth and auth and the uh, the differences are kind of you can see them over here on the right we're going to use prive or privacy because it gives us authentication and privacy uh, privacy being the encryption for the SNMP traffic going out over the wire uh, so we want to do that to make it a little more secure and that should be all we need to do for that. Next thing we're going to do is set up the user. We'll call it SNMP user. And this is where I said you have to specify which group you're going to put in. We'll call it uh, version 3 as well. And we're going to set up the authentication now. There's different protocols for uh, authenticating. And you need to make sure that uh, whatever you place in here for the, the user matches with your actual SNMP analyzer. Or, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, flow analyzer. So I'm going to use SHA1 and give it a password of Cisco. Next thing you need to do is the uh, privacy. So, privacy and something you have, you have to keep in mind too is, uh, for example, you can see we have triple does here. We have AES, uh, and you can set which uh, you know 128 bit or whatever you want on that. And then we have DES. Um, on the actual NetFlow uh, analyzer itself, um, which you can see it actually picked up this IP address already. Um, and I think it never flushed its database from before so I'm going to do something in a second to uh, fix that but when you go to add a credential set for SNMP version 3 give it something so it'll let us in here um, under encryption type you're going to see that uh, the software you're using is only capable of whatever's already set in it right so if we were to set triple des on the iOS um, over to the left here then it's not going to it's not going to talk well with our actual NetFlow analyzer so we're going to use, uh, we'll use AES-128 and we'll give it Cisco as well. Obviously not good passwords, but uh, for a production environment you're going to use different. So now we have our SNMP group and user that was step two. And step three, as I said, was the IP, uh, the IP flow export command. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick is jump into um, FAST00 and give it a different IP address as well. 
And the reason I did that is uh, I think that the the NetFlow analyzer had some old data in it, and I don't want to cause any issues with that software. Um, but obviously, you know, if you had commercial software or if you were using it long term, you're not going to be pulling in and out a bunch of different devices. So with that being changed, let's go ahead into config T. We're going to do um, ipflow-export mm -hmm. uh, destination of the IP address of the server where the or workstation where the uh, NetFlow analyzer or collector is actually located at. Next thing he wants to know is the port. And so uh, we're going to use 2055. Where this comes into play is you'll see that uh, this particular set of software has a default listening port over here. And so um, you can, you know, if you change that to something non-native, maybe for security through obscurity, just keep in mind you have to match that up with what you put in the iOS. So that should be all we need to do to get this thing exporting from 10.0.0.25 now instead of 24. We're going to go ahead and add a new device and set up our SNMP version 3 credential set. We'll just call it test1. Username is going to be uh, SNMP user, SHA1 Cisco. AES128 Cisco and OK and OK yeah we'll store the credential set alright now you can see uh, that's why I didn't want to use that old IP I, I don't think that that's that's not working properly but um, you can see that it used an SNMP the credentials that it got from us here it uh, pulled in the data as far as host name uh, what kind of a device this is through a little Cisco logo in there if you can see that and it's got uh, the interfaces listed now you're only going to see traffic start showing up on the interfaces that you have the IP flow ingress and egress on you can see right there traffic came in traffic's heading out uh, and it and knows what flow type it is um, so we're going to go ahead and start the flow capture uh, this is really all you can see from this particular screen again this is the solar winds uh, flavor of NetFlow analyzing and when you go to start it's going to say there's no data available that's because it's currently uh, live polling that interface and collecting metrics on what kind of traffic is coming and going uh, another thing you can do uh, two other things you can do uh, you can turn on debug IP flow export that's going to tell you essentially when uh, packets are being sent out to the IP address that you specified so if you have any issues with the collector actually seeing the traffic you can do that uh, or you can verify, you know, that there's no firewalls or anything blocking you as far as the ports and protocols. Uh, the other thing you can do is a show IP cache flow. And what this does is it gives you a, make it a little bigger for you, it gives you a uh, CLI ability to see some of the traffic that you're going to be seeing in the uh, the analyzer as well. And you saw one, one debug message come through here. Um, <clears throat> but it's going to show down here, excuse me, uh, source interface, destination interface, um, IP address of source and destination IP. So uh, again, this is a GNS3 lab environment. There's not much traffic going across, but in a production environment, you're going to see a lot of traffic on your, your interfaces you're monitoring. The source and destination uh, port over here on the right um, is uh, in hexadecimal, so you have to convert that over. I'm not sure exactly why Cisco did that. I'm sure there's some documentation on it. Um, you can see protocols that are being in use. When I ran this command, there wasn't much going on. Uh, and packet count over here on the right so you can take a look if you're trying to troubleshoot some issues with um, maybe high utilization of a link you can take a look and see who's using the most packets there um, so that's a neat way you can run it again you're going to get different metrics um, there's plenty more to take a look at documentation online on how to read that going back over to the actual analyzer though that's going to do a lot of the dirty work for us and clean it up um, you can see again there's not too much traffic going on unfortunately because it's uh it's not a production environment but what it's going to show you is top talkers the different hosts that are uh, sending and receiving the most traffic um, it's going to show you protocols that are being used uh, applications um, and these are mapped in the, the at least on the solar ones these are mapped in the software so if you have one that comes up unknown and uh, you do some research online you can actually map the port number over to a particular application so it's a little bit easier in the future for you to read bunch of metrics you can change in regards to uh, when it refreshes what kind of units it's showing you and then uh, down in the uh, lower right you can still see the uh, inbound and outbound traffic utilization and what interface you're checking here um, this demo only allows for one hour of collection as I've said before and um, you can uh, you can monitor more NetFlow interfaces by clicking this button and paying SolarWinds a lot of money um, which may <coughs> may be uh, maybe your choice if you determine this is a good piece of software for you I'm um, planning on doing a side-by-side -side of all the uh, free and open source applications and possibly mm -hmm. some commercial mm -hmm. ones as well if they offer uh, demos. But uh, this is basically it. Um, uh, th the graphs aren't looking too good, again, because we don't have too much traffic going. Um, 
I don't even think if I try and simulate some, I could set up a TFTP transfer or something. Um, but uh, that's how it works right there. So um, as 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 data comes in, you can you can kind of see here now. Uh, if I expand it a little bit more and get a couple more of these these colors, it's not going to let me. There we go. So you can see every new uh, you know host that shows up, every new protocol, whatnot. Um, it's going to give it its own color. So you can see what's using the most bandwidth on that link. So that is the SolarWinds real-time NetFlow analyzer um, available in a demo version to watch one interface at a time for an hour at a time. And that is how you configure NetFlow exportation on Cisco devices. Again, three simple steps, IP flow ingress and egress on the port, SNMP user and group, or uh, you can do SNMP uh, one or two Charlie if you want to set up just a, a community string. And uh, what was the last thing? Last thing. Oh, IP flow export. Send it to the IP in the uh, destination port that it's listening on. And that is NetFlow in a nutshell for you. Thanks for watching.